hello everyone and welcome back to Uncharted Lost Legacy. This is part three, where last episode we did the open world segment, hit up the, the three towers and got all the tokens, so completed that area uh, to get the three waterfalls running. And here we are, walking through here, where apparently that is our destination. Absolutely gorgeous waterfall. Uh, so let's proceed with the game and push onwards. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah, their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Seems to be a common thing for back then, though. <laughs> of, let's make extravagant stuff. Oh no, all of my treasures are being... are, are wanting to be stolen. Who could have done this? Oh, we're going down here. Thank you so much, Nadine. What would I do without you? Fancy box. Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? <laughs> then I guess we're climbing. <laughs> Wow, even down there by the waterfalls, like actual proper stuff, because this would have been the dam that would have then broken down and then was then turned into a beautiful waterfall instead. Yeah. Over here, we can swing across. My favorite. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's line it up, baby. There we go. Treasure where? Okay. Treasure around here? Look for a way up. Okay. Uh, where is it? There it is. Gotcha. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You what? I like all the photo spots. Okay. Um, so to find a way up, there we go, over here. They're even more impressive up close. And we're about to get closer. Wow. My apologies. That does not, this part, look at this, like, part here, does not look joined, that does not look stable. It looks like it's literally about to collapse. Up here. This way. You sure it's safe? <laughs> you know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was good timing. Oh, that was very good timing. <laughs> uh, you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. I'm gonna have an uncharted sized hole in my heart once I'm uh, once I'm done with this game unfortunately I gotta start gotta gotta get back into the Tomb Raider series I didn't actually thought you said Ganesh was the remover of obstacles <laughs> he's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit that why the horse and I chosen for Halibadu he's also the lord of good fortune the one you pray to for prosperity and success got it that's cool. Um, 
Oh, okay, so we're gonna grapple onto another one. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have an uncharted sized hole in my heart, and I guess we're gonna have to look into uh, look into the Tomb Raider series. Because I love the Tomb Raider series from what I've already played. I've played the reboot trilogy of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Rise and Shadow. And I hope it continues because that was more like, that was like the Lara Croft, like the reboot series sort of like Lara Croft origin story where it was like dealing with a lot of that stuff and exploring her past and all of that. And I'd really, I'd really love to see um, a new story in that same universe. I hope that they don't like reboot. I hope they don't reboot again. Um, yeah, like I hope they do continue that that story. But with the developers, the main developers changing hands for the third game, it doesn't seem incredibly likely, but I hope they don't reboot again. I hope we actually get a continuation, because it deserves it. Like, Tomb Raider has so much potential. And yeah, I enjoyed the trilogy. I, I didn't like the third game as much. The second game of that series is definitely the best. Um, second game of that series is definitely the best. Um, but maybe I should go back and play those original Tomb Raider games that I that I never played. I think that would be a nice way to keep the keep scratching the itch of these adventure games. Obviously, it's not going to be to the same depth um, of the Uncharted series, and we know we know that. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of Tomb Raider games out there that I that I haven't played that I'd like to get into. Oh God! Oh my God! Climb. Bruh. On the belt. <laughs> how, how... Check this out. Check the strength of Nadine Ross out while I just torture her a little bit with my, with the weight. <laughs> Dude, look at her fingers. They're not even on the thing. <laughs> Nadine's just like, yep, I got us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Views, baby. Check that out. Mm mm. Worth it. Impressive. Impressive. Thumbnail, baby. How do we get off this thing? I love that, like, all of the thumbnail shots, I feel like, are just going to be these. It's going to be Chloe and Nadine stand in front of beautiful scenery because it's, like, perfectly framed for a thumbnail shot. It's either going to be that or it'll be a shot of the two statues with the waterfall. Both of them, very good shots. And then I push Nadine over. Does it? Oh, really? nice. When are you going to be back here? <laughs> Can I see that? Let me see. I can't pull my phone out while I'm balancing on a thing, but I can pull my phone out to take the photo. Okay. Yeah. Bruh. Okay. Nice. Nailed it. Right, let me check my phone. Give me a sec. <laughs> This photo doesn't really convey the height at which we are standing together, though, you know. Check that one out. Good stuff. Alright. Oh. Um, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not a drop. There we go. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Nice. Our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. 
It looks like we're about to slide on in. Wow. Nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Ah. Trebuchet. You say catapult like a normal person? Trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to when the internet was obsessed with fucking trebuchet memes, dude. Ah, I feel like this was influenced by that. Just her going like, I looked up trebuchets, like, the trebuchet meme revolution. When was that? I can't even remember anymore. Time moves so fast, especially in meme culture. Ready? After you. Goodbye! Damn! It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Wow. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Wow. It's not really his style. Um, fuck. Half tempted to make this one the thumbnail. Check this out. Check this beautiful goddamn statue out. Hey, eh? Look at that. That's insane. Multiple opportunities to get a good thumbnail shot. Are we dropping onto this thing? That's the question. Yes. Hello, big boy. Uh, where are we going from here? Oh, hello. Ah, there we go. Hiya! All right. And down we go. Another happy landing. Did they just carve this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions, they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Gorgeous. Yeah, nice. That is a photo. That's a photo up right there. Okay, where are we headed? Down this way. Okay. Aha. Through here. Hey, look, our moments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. Now we're getting somewhere. Thank you. Hey, that Queen's Ruby. It's really. Hey, another one of these doors. Really getting me there. Let's see. Press the. Oh, this one's already open. Nice. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh. Some light. Now, by the way, crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Usually, when you enter the ancient ruins, and you go down to secret places, there is like an eternal fire thing situation going. I'm like, who lit all these torches? Where did the fire come from? And why is it burning for millennia? You know, and it's uh, and it's and it's always like a funny observation. Seeing like the door open and it activating a mechanism that lights a fire. I'll take it. I'll take it. But just go when I when I walk down an ancient cave subsystem that hasn't been touched in uh, hundreds of years, and I'm like, "Yep, this fire's just been burning." Hey, up here. Bruh, the vibe changed real quick. What the hell? Jesus, this was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. Wow. 
Their loss is our gain. You're like, wow, amazing, beautiful waterfall and stonework, guys. And then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, just a bit of a graveyard. Damn, dude, the flag carrier. What a good, like, what a good, like, set piece, though. The way that this has been framed and set up is awesome. It's kind of what I love is whenever you find these places like this and you're like, fuck, man, they really just uh, told a really beautiful and engaging story in just the environments that they created alone. They, they crafted an environment that tells its own interesting story that doesn't need like an exposition or it doesn't need like what happened here it's like bro you can like just kind of picture it in your head very clearly what happened here Nadine can you lend a hand with this chap sure come on old fellow there we go and another one Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Uh, okay, there's an open door there. I was like, before I saw that, I was like, oh, we're going to have a situation where we have to choose a door each time, but no. Chloe Fraser is like the Uncharted Universe's Lara Croft. Is kind of like my realization here. Chloe Fraser is is the Lara Croft of the Uncharted Universe. And I'm and and <laughs> continue the Uncharted series with Chloe Fraser. Nate's retired. He he's he's bought his business. He's he's got stuff going on with the land. He's got a kid now. You've still got characters kicking around in the Uncharted universe, and you've got numerous, numerous treasures that you can you can explore. I'll take Chloe as the as the new lead. Lost Legacy could have just been like an intermission um, or like a, a bridging game into a new Uncharted uh, trilogy or saga of uh, Chloe Fraser doing stuff. I'm I'm down for it. Um, and then the torch will eventually pass on to uh, Nathan and Elena's child for her own yeah. tomb raiding. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Right? There's a whole there's a whole bunch of games that can be made in the Uncharted universe still where it won't feel stale because these games are so fun and awesome. And you learn a lot of real history here as well, as well as, you know, delving into, like, the supernatural or, like, the, you know, the myths and legends. But, like, you can do Chloe Fraser, you can have years pass, you can have Nathan and Elena's kid doing stuff. I, I would be so down for it. I just, uh... <clears throat> ah. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open... That door. Okay, on the left we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? No. The one that Shiva Ganesha's father gave to Parashurama? Yeah. Hush. It's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. But again, I, I, oh, no, <laughs> no, guys, remember what happened last time I had to do the light show, I was stuck for ages because I was just off, <laughs> and I couldn't get it, um, this one looks like I can actually perfectly see the shadows, though, uh, but what I was going to say was, uh, it's all entirely up to Naughty Dog, because I think Naughty Dog liked to tell 
a story in a series of games and then move on to to other things um but that has changed recently you know with how they did the uncharted trilogy did the last of us went back to uncharted then went back to the last of us so they uh they have the capacity to to dip back and forth we'll just have to see on what they're working on next jack four baby jack four we we wait we patiently wait for jack four but um We'll just have to wait and see if they go back to if if they come back to the Uncharted series. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I see. I think this one was in the right spot. Okay. That's in the right spot. This looks like fun, she says. Okay. Uh, the axe needs to go... Part of the axe, anyway. The other part of the axe needs to also... This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Okay, hold on. Okay. What next? And now Almost, but not gonna cut it just yet. Hold on. Uh, I think I have to line it up with the. I have to line up both though, so that's the confusing part. I've got one complete. Oh, I know what I have to do. Oh, that's. Oh, that's confusing. Okay, I've done this wrong. Because I need to swap. Damn, that was close. I need to swap those two pieces around. Uh, Alright, I can swap these pieces around easy, actually. Hold on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, this should be, this should be it. Uh, then do this. Cool. Now that's done, and then as soon as I do this, it should link up. Fuck yeah. Gotcha, baby. I think that's it. You did it. Doors open. All in a day's work. Nice. An actual shadow puzzle that I wasn't and the tiger. completely confused on. Here we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's supposed to happen? I know. <laughs> Don't know. Don't get us killed. You're no fun. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh. Damn, look at all the little gears and stuff in there. <clears throat> Makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. The hoist that I sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, 
Hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva, that's the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? In their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belor? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Fuck in the hour. Go! Oh man. Um hold on a minute. Fuck. <laughs> oh dude, fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Look at the texture on the on the wet clothing, man. Oh, and we're still alive. Oh. Raw talent and a little bit of luck. Oh. Hey, nice work, partner. Nice work. Put it there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? Yeah. There was. No longer. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. Yeah. Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. That'll go to below? It's just not. Well. Technically, I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. <sighs> you know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. Amazing. Um. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. What I love about Naughty Dog's texture work is you look at these characters when they get out of a situation like that, and you're like, it, there's nothing that goes man that looks kind of weird to me like i'm like this is that's genuinely wet clothing on a human being like the uh, eh, like and we're just watching it dry in real time like it's stupid stupid good you know stupid good and now her clothes uh, have dried I mean, if only clothes did actually dry that fast in real time um it would be great people would swim in their clothes all the time but um unfortunately not it's still amazing to see that texture work in action, though. We got another scenery shot coming up. We got multiple of those. Not complaining whatsoever. Look at that teamwork, baby. In sync. Huh. <laughs> so they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So 
So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. And then check this out. Like, the water that's only wetting the bottom third of the pants. And how you can see it... Like... It's, it's just really good. I like how that actually plays out of me actually trying to go for it and like falling off because she's taken both. I'm like, that ah. like plays into like actually a realistic situation of like, if I wasn't controlling the character, Chloe would have missed and like almost fallen off the edge. Fucking come on, Ross. Let me, uh... Bam! Upper hook, baby. I'm keeping the silenced pistol for now. Because I like it. Alright, silenced pistol isn't going to really work out. Where's my other gun? Ah, oh, did I lose it? Whoa! We, this is not a fight. We're gonna win, baby. Holy shit. Teamwork, baby. You have teamwork attacks. Jewel tech, baby. I only have a pistol, man. And it's the silenced one. I wanted to save this for when we were going to... Be stealthy. Why does everyone only have pistols? Damn it! Thank you. Thank you. Here, I need your gun, sir. Thank you. Gotcha. Dude. Oh, she did the hand reach. In, t in game logic, in this game, hand reach means you will always successfully get the thing. She failed. Thank you. Oh god. I didn't think it was still gonna be... Oh fuck, I'm dead. Yep! <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was not a good spot to sit. Okay. Oh, hello. Ah! Alright, let's try that again. That's quite a turret you have there, sir. Oh, well, fuck me. Okay, it's gonna charge through the... Oh, I love these set pieces. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at her go, dude. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna get killed because I'm getting distracted by Nadine taking out the dudes. Holy fuck, man. That car, whoever's driving that thing, know how to navigate ruins, man. Oh shit. Like, se severely good off-roading skills, man. Come on, off you get. You two. You two. Oh, yep. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, game. Uh, 
That's so funny. I was grabbing nothing. Ah! Holy fuck. Yeah, go Nadine. There's no way you should be able to be shooting me there. Like, logically, you cannot shoot me. This way? Oh, Nadine teleported. That's good. Ouchie. You all right? I think so. I think so. Oh shit. Where are we? Yo. No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's maybe. another way out. Cool dagger, my guy. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Hey. Yep. That's a place for the head to go. Uh, corner for each limb. Drain the blood out, my guy. Uh, either ritual or sacrificial. In a place like this. I doubt they would go to this much effort just for it to be like one tortured chamber place. Seems to be like ritualistic. Up here. Think there's a way through. Poor bastards. And this is the prison. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell. Damn. Okay, maybe that was a torture cell then. Okay, there you go. With the co added context of a cell nearby. Now. It makes sense. How the hell do we get out? Uh. Hear that? I do. <clears throat> yep. There's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Wow. My guy! Jesus. The Eye of Shiva. Impressive. See, he's letting us do the work. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our ritual. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? All right. <clears throat> so, in times of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. He got easily distracted. Like, so easily distracted. I'm going to pause in this fight, just to point out the fact that um, we're going with the logic of Uncharted 4, is Nadine is untouchable, and yet this guy just picks her up by the neck and just throws her into the ground and takes her out. You can understand when I say in a 2v1, two guys versus Nadine, just in a 2v1 fight, doesn't matter if it's 
man or woman, if there was two women versus Nadine, should still realistically get punched. So for Asav to be the one to just pick her up and throw her down when we know before she's managed to effectively avoid every single hit of all time when she's faced multiple foes is, is really funny. <laughs> Because now Nadine is just she, she's just on the floor. So slow. Swing and a miss. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, bro. To rule a people, you must first sow chaos. In the dick. Get him in the balls. Stamp out the weak bloodline. Grab him by the nuts. Starting with you. Grab him by the nuts. Nice, Nadine. Kick him in the kick him in the nuts, my guy. You're failing to go to our weak point. Go for the weak point. We're gonna get thrown out of that. Yep. We're gonna get thrown out of that. And grappling time, baby. Ouchie. Ouchie. Can't believe, out of all that, they didn't get him in the nuts. It, it was That was like Nathan Drake's favorite trick. Take it easy. We've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Jesus. Yeah. Oh shit. Ooh, check that elbow gash out, man. Shit, but Sav's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's there's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. There's two of you. <laughs> Aw, I lost my cool silenced pistol. Um, yeah, like, um, <clears throat> I lost my train of thought there. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, no, Nathan Drake, he's uh, uppercutting and kicking dudes in the balls all the time because he knows, and we know, it's the key to victory. Fight dirty to win. Um, but I'm surprised these these ones didn't go for the, like, you, you had the perfect opportunity multiple times. It's how you take the dudes out. And you don't even have to hit it hard. Just give it like a... a bah! Give it the, the lightest tap of all time. And that'll take out a man more than anything else will. <laughs> Pro tip. Can I just say, you were not joking about Assad. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. And he's a tough boy. He can take out the one and only Nadine Ross. For at least a little while. You sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. And there it is. Check that shot out, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Just so lovely to take in. Um, this way. Up here. Go slow. We survived an encounter with a Sav. Big tough boy. So I guess we need to find the city of Balor, and now sav has been given sort of like the disc, which is a way for him to to get the clue now. For him to find out where he needs to go. 
Let's get that thing open. Oh. Open the gates. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Assault's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Same track. You what? He's a goddamn expert. He's same track. What? Yes. What? Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, unexpected. Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave You knew him my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Saab made you the obvious... <laughs> Excuse me. Hold back or anything. I want it. You know what, Nadine? It doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah. Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. Damn. <laughs> I better go after her. The gatekeeper. Wow. Okay, well, off goes Nadine. Um, and we're gonna... We're walking, I guess. Okay, so we've got we've got Sam. Ah, because he's doing stuff. Interesting. So Sam went missing. So it does explain why uh, Fraser knows of Sam because of this. So there you go. There you go. Wild. Damn! All right, the the miserable walk through the thunderstorm as Nadine gives us like a fucking mean hook to the face. That's what I get for being honest. Sucked in the door. Ouch. Well, Nandy's not too far. For a second I was like, where the fuck did Nadine just drive off to? Did she just drive off the cliff? Slide down the mud. Solo venture. I guess the situation that I could probably see the two of them coming back together is Nadine gets in trouble and Chloe rescues her and they go partners again and then they'll reform or maybe we'll, we'll buddy up with Sam slow down slow down <sighs> those uh those cuts and bruises <laughs> Those cuts and bruises do definitely be getting infected today. That's for sure. How fascinating are these tree bridges, though? Not really sure on the direction we're headed, but I guess... Bridge is a good place to... good place to start. I'd assume this would be the one. There we go. There we go. 
If that doesn't blow up this wall because I accidentally pre I was pressing the triangle button, I accidentally pressed R1. Please blow the wall up. Fuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fuck. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, right. That's more like it. That's funny. Picks it up, immediately just chucks it. The gatekeeper. <laughs> I was like, I got stuck. Oh shit. Whoa. Well, that's the four by four. Shit, is that the date? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. Shit, dude. Not getting that deposit back. We getting the painkillers? <laughs> Not even the painkillers survived. Oh man. Nothing yet. Well, keep your eyes open. They must be hiding somewhere. Can't have gone far on foot. Okay, that was that was something at least. Wasn't perfect. Oh, I know. Hang on. I know where we are. Is this not this area? Yeah, this is where we did the fountain thing. I'm dead. I'm I'm too exposed. Yeah, I'm too exposed. <laughs> the dean. What the fuck? <laughs> Nadine calling out to me. The fuck? Did it checkpoint the damage that I did to the Hang on. Did it check did it checkpoint the damage I did to the APC? Nothing here. <gasps> I wonder if it did, because my RPG's empty. Who the fuck is Nadine? She called out to me when I died, so she's obviously around here somewhere. Oh, hello, buddy. I need your RPG. This will put a dent in that APC. Yeah. Where is it, though? Oh, there it is. It's last legs now. Okay, one more. Oh, hello. The hornet's nest, can you, Fraser? Yes, yes, listen, we'll never get anywhere with these guys around. Come on! Here we go. This is what I need. I guess you probably could have uh, hacked in, hacked in, lockpicked all of these to get RPG ammo. And then, oh shit, hello, goodbye. Got him! Oh shit! Reinforcements! I saw! I saw! Oh, I could have used the C4 as well. You alright? I don't need a babysitter. Just get the job done. Them 
Nice. You want to spin a thing with me? Spin the thing with me. There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear. My priority is the tusk. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. <sighs> they really know how to... how to write the characters in Uncharted. I fucking love the characters in Uncharted. Every character in Uncharted, the way that they're written... Mwah, mwah, mwah. They're just really good, like, the character interaction and dialogue and writing and stuff. It's just everyone's motivations and how everyone feels about everything. It's just so good. Uh, before we proceed into secret, sacred cow, holy cow, uh, I'll take a quick break and then we will resume. Down we go. Out of the rain. Got some shelter. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Interesting that you knew what that switch would do. She's come a long way instead of being cautious. She's just throwing switches like no tomorrow. Exactly what it sounded like. Explosion. That statue is in such a sassy pose. Check that out. Stop. You can't come through here. Uh, what the hell are they doing? Taking shortcuts. It's a classic Nadine maneuver right there, those shortcuts. Stop, I mean it. You can't come in here. Nope. I'll be there. Oh, wow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Whatever the hell that is. Like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. I know that I can inspect the treasures, but and find out exactly what they are. Oh, they got two this time. Uh, okay, guys, I really mean it. You really don't want to go through here. Please stop. We warned you. Don't mind us. Giant flying rodents. Right? Ooh. What is that? Whatever it is, it's close. I think it's the treasure is like up here. Yes. Oh. What? How, how long have you been here? A little while? I guess this was the noise of the crashing that we just heard earlier as this came down. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. She's tripped. But I don't think she's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Mm, okay, there you go. 
Easy girl. Shh, shh. Ooh, we about to we about to be riding an elephant. Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. <laughs> yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Stay calm. Are you talking to me or the elephant? Both? Easy. 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 <laughs> Surprised that would she's not running. How interesting are elephants, right? Yeah. You want some of this? <laughs> Incredibly, incredibly interesting species. Here you go. Oh. Gentle giants, but could absolutely fucking annihilate you if they wanted to. This is nice. I like this a lot. Like, just imagine having the opportunity to do this. This is something else. Look, I am. Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one of the expeditions. Because this time he said he was onto something big. He was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to. Stop. No. Charging, I think. Tell him to stop, because I speak elephant. Oh. <laughs> Cannonball! Reunited with the family. She just sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. The sh well, the nothing else today. At least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. They've got a cough with them. Right. The sheer amount of times that their clothes just get absolutely soaked and drenched, it would be the most uncomfortable thing to deal with. Um, 
Naughty Dog really do love to like give those uh, gratuitous, lovely animal moments. I think so far we've got the giraffes from Last of Us, the zebras from Last of Us 2, um, and now the elephants in Uncharted Lost Legacy. And I don't know if I'm forgetting any, but those are the three most notable to me. I don't think Uncharted 4 had a moment with any. Let's snap a picture of that one. Hello, everybody. Here, I'll take this one. Oh, okay, thanks. Move over a little. That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. <laughs> Much obliged. Let's take a look. <laughs> Amazing. Good stuff. Little calf in there. Just in between the legs. Be interesting. It's interesting that they would have to, like, the research they would then have to do into just they would have to be a team of people who were responsible for the a for the animations smaller than i remember you're probably used to seeing african elephants these are indian elephants um like the animators smaller smaller yes sort of a double dome on the skull The animators would have to like research all of the specific animal behaviors and what they do and like watch that. Have a, like a research session of just watching elephants do their thing to make it accurate. Like, all right, guys, what are we doing today at work? Oh, we're, to leave some supplies for us. we're watching elephants. Good call. David Attenborough's voice soothing us while we animate elephants. Thank you. Alright, what you got? Um, I'm kind of fine with the P90, to be honest. But I'll grab the C4. Okay. It certainly doesn't look like we should be doing a leap of faith. Hold on. That's a pathway. Up here. Yeah. There we go. Up here. All the photo ups, baby. Look at that tree growth. That's awesome. This is the most like thumbnailable episode. Everything is just gorgeous. So many vistas! Oh, we got a treasure nearby. It's down this way. Yep. Hello! I pressed the triangle button. Come on. Fancy coin, baby. Okay. Hey Okay. F I fucked that up, and now I have to go all the way back. hey I really don't know what I was expecting with an abysmal swing like that, but that's fine. Nadine, you're so nice. Literally following me all the way back. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Round two on the swing. Even Spider-Man fails his swing some days. Not sure what happened there. Pressed L1 and it said, I'm just going to not let go. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Gotcha. That makes sense. Swing for a treasure, swing on back. Love seeing the wildlife just chilling out. That's great. This is gonna fall. Oh, I was like, that's not stable. But sure. And over we 
go. Hey, up wow. I see light through the water. And another beautiful environment shot coming up right now, baby. Jesus Christ! Wow. The Lost Legacy. Hello, Belua. Wow. You know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from assault. Apart from us all. <laughs> a few of his men. <laughs> and a few of his men. What a way to ruin a moment, Nadine. You just totally crushed that moment. Yep. <laughs> that, right? uh, photo? Photo. I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. I, like, The Last of Us Part 2 came out after Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy, but I don't think that they did, like, I don't think that the environments or stuff that was, like, shown to us in Last of Us 2 is better than this. I just think that this absolutely is mind-blowing. This is some of Naughty Dog's, this is Naughty Dog's best. Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy, in terms of environmental design, is insane. I think what Last of Us 2 really did well were those facial animations even better than this. Like, this is incredible, but Last of Us 2's facial animation, motion capture, whatever, how they portrayed all of that character emotion uh, was honestly insanely impressive. But the environments in, Un in Uncharted, this is just ridiculous like you just like you take a moment just to go and appreciate it it's like you just you can feel it you can touch it and that's a uh, incredible incredible props to props to the environmental design staff and people who work on building these worlds because goddamn and we've got enemies There's not a way we can stealth this. There's no way. I'm gonna get seen by that. I need this guy to move. Nah, I'm gonna get seen. What the? They are over here. <laughs> I thought that I would grab. I thought that I would grab the lower. Oh, it's. And now it's just put me here. Oh. Oh. I was doing so well. Alright, let's shorten the range on these battles here. What? Okay. I swear she did the hand reach there, so it would have landed on the, sh on the thing. That's fine. Where am I now? Just keep dying, right? And then you you just get pushed further and further into the the area, resetting the encounter, <laughs> which is funny. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, oh thank you. Good job. The only way that you can stealth it is by dying a couple of times, and you can force yourself in. Ah, uh, so you can have either C4 or, okay, or grenades. Oh shit! Nothing over there. Hello.
Oh, there's a second one. Oh, the second one's gonna fuck this up for me. Got one down over here. Watch yourselves. Okay, hold on. Who's that? Someone? Ah, uh, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Damn it! There's just so many of them in the same spot. Cover me, Nadine. I've got luck picking to do. Not invincible when doing the lock picking. Nice. Get rid of all this ammo. Thank you. Now I'll take this guy. Should probably actually use the uh whoa. Should probably actually use the uh C4 sometime. Damn it. Gotcha. Are we good? I think we're good. Music's out. We're clear. Oh, nope, we are not clear. Not clear, not clear! No, come on. Blow it up. Blow the thing up. That's a shame. Oh shit. Hang on, I wanna stop. Uh, I wanna- I'm gonna die. No, come over this way. It's over this way. Now! Damn it. I'm dead. Nice. Just wasted all of that C4. That's a shame. Should never have come here. Ah, oh, he was that close. Maybe the C4s did do some damage then, considering he was uh, only a few bullets away from death. Chloe with the big gun, boy. That's a good reference. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, boys. They're all dropping down from the same spot. Ready to just get mowed down, baby. Always pick up the big gun, huh? All clear. Why won't it let me shoot? Why won't it let me shoot? Not be a way through. It specifically won't let me shoot dead bodies. Right. Back to it. Strange. Give me a sec. Can I cancel? <coughs> Never mind. I wanted to pick up some supplies first, Nadine. Ah, let's see where this goes. Okay. Yeah, look at this. They're greyed out. It greys out the reticle. On dead on dead bodies. 
Why is that? That's a strange touch. They specifically don't... Is there a specific reason to being like, you can't continue to shoot a dead body? It's just kind of like weird. Not here again. There must be a way into the city somewhere. Let's hope that tusk is there, huh? Whoa. It's a shame, in a way. Balu is hidden from the world. Ooh, treasure is there. Hey ho ho! Give me that. Okay. Up this way. I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. He saved his city from the Persians. Oh God. Rise up. How did I die? Is that not where I'm supposed to land, though? Look, I died. Oh, oh. We were just here. Into the ledge above the falls. Ah, oh, uh, very good. That is very good. Apparently, that is too far away for me to throw it back on, and it makes me repeat the thing. Okay. It's a shame, in a way. Balu is hidden from the world. Okay, let's repeat. Interesting that that was like a death before. Okay, let's try this one again, shall we? Oh, that's weird. I should probably, maybe... It feels like you'd be able to do it in the one swing. Like, um... The characters are able to kind of, as soon as they extend their arm out, like they can actually do this jump that almost seems like superhuman or unnatural because as soon as they got their arm out, that's the game communicating, it's safe to let go and we will attach the character to the platform. Sometimes the character makes the weirdest sort of animation to make that work. But for some reason it's not working here, specifically. So I don't know if that's her sticking her hand out, saying, um... It's safe to land on the ledge below you, which is where we technically are not supposed to be landing in that moment. Seems to be the case. Let's just try and get a little bit closer. We'll do that instead. Oh Jesus. There we go. Up this way. Huh? Jackpot, baby. We out here. City of Kings. Just keeps getting more and more spectacular. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor. Lord Shiva. Plus Nandi. No, I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Kartikeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. <sighs> My bracelet rang a bell before. Here we go. Hang on. Damn it. They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. Here it is. Fancy bell. All right, blown the entrance. Yeah. Okay. 
That looks like a place here. Hello, way in. In here, Nadine. Tastes great. Big city. There must be another way through. Underneath. I can see the hole in the floor. Du -du 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 Missing dialogue once again because Chloe is underwater. <laughs> another treasure. Where's that treasure at, though? Fraser, mm -hmm. over here, coming. Is it underwater? I don't think so. Huh? Ah, look there, the queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Okay, the treasure's here somewhere. Or is it maybe upwards? Oh, hang on. Down here. There we go. Gotcha. Was underwater the whole time. Nice. It's an ancient inhaler. Where would we be without that? I like the lily pads moving when we navigate through the water. Let's move on. Oh, what on earth is this? What is it? Not your comrade script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Mate. Scrolls, baby. Apparently quite well preserved because they don't they look like they're intact. Hello. Give me that. Yes, dude. Oh, there's another one. Hang on. There you are. What do we have here? Incense? Ancient comb. Cool. Fraser, over here. Whoa. The big thing in the middle, the tusk of Ganesh. Damn, dude. Look at this. Do you reckon this is to scale? The tusk is this size? Not like one to one scale, but I mean in scale of these humans in the statue. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. Oh no, hang on. There's other people down the bottom. That are tiny tiny. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? <gasps> Shh. 
She's holding on to one that would fit in that gap. Chloe's got the missing piece. Your dad was here, Chloe. Fuck, dude. Dad was here. Yeah, I was like, oh, is this tusk to scale in comparison to these people? And then I realized, tiny people underneath them. Uh, so probably not. I wonder what the true size of the scale is. I guess it, when you're represented in media, statues or myths and legends, it's like massive Ganesh tusk. Maybe it's the size of the Horn of Gondor. We'll never know until we see it with our own eyes. But that was the key. So getting through here. Through here. Makes me wonder if that was sent to Chloe from her father on purpose as to one day you might need this. But also there was a part of him that was like, I'm not gonna tell you where I am I so I can protect you. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? I'll just go for a swim, you know. Alright, baby, we diving. Treasure's going off. What's up, Nadine? Yo, dude! Total friend, man. Hmm. Is the treasure going to be down that hole? Or is that the way to go? I think it's the way to go, so... Yeah. Hey, little dude. There we go. That's where it is. Hiya! It's like, I always swear that I pick it up, and I'm like waiting for the treasure to pop up. Taking its sweet time. Okay, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Okay. Just almost died, no biggie. Alright, we're going up there. Unless... There we go. Picking it up, dude. Hourglass. That's our way back in. Hey. Copy that. <laughs> Fuck. Anytime I hear, like, copy that, I'm instantly reminded of that stupid EB Games ad. The two dudes that are... Oh, the two dudes that are fighting over getting that copy of Call of Duty. And he's like, whoa. Hey, guys. <laughs> Copy that. Fuck. 
It will forever haunt my nightmares. Copy that. Just when you thought you forgot about it too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you remember because I remember. I mean, it's fine because we're below like a body of water, but like, goddamn, Nadine, that's pretty cold. Like, <laughs> literally, could have just fucked me up, but 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 fine, but fine. There we go. Fucking hell. I'll just make my way back up again, shall I? Ready? I've got my eye on you. I, have a I love the characterization. It's so good. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. <clears throat> That's where we need to be. Nice. Photo op moment. Yeah, I see. Okay, we're going to keep going. Whole place is flooded. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Claustrophobia is real. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. They they finally bring it up, huh? <laughs> like how much they get wet. Are you seeing this? Wow. At this point, I've run out of words. Holy God. Right? That's what. Thumbnail? <laughs> Uh, wow. I mean, look. Every everything in this game is is absolutely gorgeous. The amount of opportunities we're given with these this beautiful, beautiful imagery. It's insane. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way out. Hello. I'll take that. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. <laughs> well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. He'd probably be here in some capacity, right? I would assume. But there you go. And I think with that one, guys, I will call this episode here. Looking. I will let Chloe and uh, Nadine figure out a way to climb up this statue next time. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Lost Legacy. I've been having an absolute dreamy time like the environments are so good this game is incredible and a lovely continuation of uncharted on um the playstation 4 showing us what they can do how is this a ps4 game when it is of ps5 quality uh it's it's mind-blowing so uh, i will see you in the next episode and potentially the the ending because it feels like we're getting close to a culmination and i do i am aware that this is a shorter game than most so potentially the ending uh, could be next for um, Uncharted Lost Legacy, and I will see you then.